what's up guys, Dizzy Collector back with another step-by-step -step custom video. This time is actually a commission for a friend of mine, Gary Fletcher, uh, another collector here in my town. So this is the uh, Marvel Legends Hyperion, and he wants me to turn it into the uh, Marcus Milton Earth 13034. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that, so I just said the numbers. But uh, yeah, so he posted in the Australian Action Figure Collector group and said, can anybody uh, repaint this for me? I said, yeah man, sure. So he came and dropped it off today. And I'm gonna just, yeah, make it for him. Should be just a pretty, pretty fun, uh, just a repaint for him. So, shouldn't be too hard. The uh, little atomic symbol that goes here will probably probably be the uh, hardest part, I would think. So I'm gonna try and get that nice and crispy for him. So, thank you for trusting me with your, uh, with this custom man. I'll, I'll do the best I can for you. So let's get started. Alright, Hyperion has been pulled apart and is ready to begin getting painted. So I'm going to start with the uh, first layer of black over everything that you see that is red. Well, it's 1.40 in the morning and I've finished painting him up. Yeah, looking pretty good. I did the uh, nuclear atom symbol thing on the... Uh, chest there as well. Just got to uh, wants me to change the hair color from uh, that orangey color to a more, I think you wanted a uh, more of a blonde color. So I'll have to whip a paint up for that. But yeah, just got to pop him all together and paint the head and he should be good to go. So here he is put back together. Just need to uh, do some dry brushing on him that, the, uh, that Gary wants and uh, work, work out a way to uh, change his hair colour a little bit. He doesn't want it to be quite as uh, browny orange. He wants it to be more of a sandy blonde colour. So I'll try and whip that up for you, man. And then he just wants me to actually just go ahead and glue the cape on. So I'll uh, start on that dry brushing now. Alrighty, so now I've finished up Hyperion. I've, uh, let's see that I've painted his, changed his hair colour. I'll bring him in a bit. So yeah, this character had in uh, in the artwork that the uh, that Gary sent me, he had more of a uh, browny blondish hair than the uh, the orangey dark brown hair. So I've gone ahead and changed that. And also, you can't really see too well in the in the uh, picking up on video, but I have dry brushed grey over the uh, black. So you can see it, there you can see it there. So it's not as shiny, it gives him more of a uh, worn look, like he was uh, in a fight or something. So that's what uh, Gary wanted. So that's what I did for him. So I uh, sent him the photos and he seems pretty happy with it. So that's a good sign. This is my first custom for somebody else. So a little bit nervous for me as well. So hopefully he likes it when he sees it. And uh, thank you very much for uh, commissioning me to do this for you man I appreciate that and yeah give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one peace